Like so many other rising seniors, Hugh Strother was looking forward to his last year of high school in the Isle of Wight County School District. The teen, active in marching band, jazz band, and other programs, was hoping to start the year inside a classroom at Smithfield High School. They need the socialization. They need to be out with their friends. They need their peers, and they need to get away from their parents. But by a slim margin vote, the meeting is adjourned. The school board decided all high school students would begin the year with 100% virtual learning. Hugh's mother, Jennifer Molesworth, says her daughter, Devin, just finished her senior year virtually. There was no prom. There was no senior banquet. There was no dinner. There was, there was no senior cut day. There was none of that last stuff that makes senior year so much fun. Um, and kind of cements those memories. The plan comes as COVID cases continue to rise across Hampton Roads. For elementary and middle school students, parents have a choice of how they want them to learn in the fall, either completely virtual for the entire first semester until February, or parents can opt for a hybrid plan where children will attend school for in-person instruction two days a week and learn from home the remaining days. Data for COVID-19 among children suggests that children are less likely to get COVID-19 than adults. And when they do get COVID-19, they generally have a less serious illness. School board member Vicki Hulick was one of the two members who voted to have virtual learning for all students in the first nine weeks. I'm skeptical to roll the dice because one death is too many. Elementary and middle school parents will have until August 10th to decide on a plan and won't be able to change their minds. For Molesworth, she's hoping at least part of the school year can be saved and the board will reevaluate if the situation changes. This isn't normal and I'm tired of it being called a new normal. This is not a new normal at all. Informational meetings for parents will be held next week. Antoinette Delbell, News 3.